You guys have been asking me if I would put these on the scan and cut and show you how they do. So this is the paper that I need for uh, my mailbox that I'm doing. And I thought I would try cutting all these little cutouts with you guys on my scan and cut. But there's one thing I need to do first that I know I need to do. And we do this whenever we're cutting like Brenda's vintage things out. You have to do this. This is a great example. Do you see this um, snowflake star? I, we'll call it a star. I know that we can see the lines. We can tell that there is a difference between this white and that. But in some places, it's slightly broken, and the scan and cut can see through that. So what I'm going to do is trace these white or these lighter colored images with my pencil. And anywhere there is a break, for example, do you see where this sort of breaks? I want to trace that with my pencil so that the scan and cut doesn't see that as a, I want to cut that ribbon out situation. So there's several little places on here I want to do that, especially this white poinsettia, which you can even tell all the brokenness by looking at it on camera. So I'm going to run through and do that, and then we'll scan it. So you can see now that I have traced most everything. I did not trace that package. I need to do it. I traced around this where I felt like it had some little open spots, that little star, that ribbon, stuff like that. So just did some tracing, and now we can scan. I'm breaking in here to let you know that I'm using my older scan and cut machine because we already had it out and set up. The other one was in the closet with some of our other machines since we've moved. We have not used them in that long. But this one we used um, for Made It Con, and since it was already set up, I just went straight to this machine. This should work on both machines. So now I've just loaded this into the scan and cut, and we're gonna come right up here to the screen, and I'm gonna choose Direct Cut. And then, do you notice I have it on color? I want it on color because this is a color image, but you can change that and go to black and white if you have a black and white image. So I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna tell it to start. And now it's gonna scan those images for me. Once it's through scanning, you'll get this screen where it's going to ask you to frame the image. Well, I'm wanting to use the whole sheet, so I don't need to change this. But if you needed to, you could use these arrows and frame up your image. So let's say OK. Now it needs to recognize, and this can take a minute. So I'm going to cut away and come right back after the recognition is done. You can see it's recognized a good bit of my image. But do you notice up here in the top where some of that is kind of broken? This is asking it to look for five colors, or at least in my mind, that's what that means. I'm going to up this to 20. This will go all the way to 20. And because this page I'm doing is so colorful, I'm just going to go ahead and max that out and tell it to preview. So it's going to need to recognize again. And when it's done, we'll come back and look at it. Now I'm noticing here that right in here, it's having a little issue. I think that is because part of this is actually outside the eye of the skin and cut. Do you see that little hole right there? I think it can't see that because it's off the page. So I'm going to have to let that ride. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say okay to this, and I'm gonna add an offset. Do you see this little circle? One second, I'll get my stylus. Do you see this little circle right here? I wanna click that, and I'm gonna add the tiniest offset, one press up, that's it, point, oh, point zero 0.04, okay? And by doing that, it will kind of be a little safety for me. Now, some of these may bleed together and I might have to cut some apart, but I'd rather do that than lose any of the image. So here we go, we're gonna cut. So you remember how I told you there was some outside of the pattern area, it just warned me about that, but I think the rest is pretty good. So we're gonna tell it to go. Okay, so it is ready to go. So I'm gonna press cut, but before I do, here's what I wanna say to you. Typically, I would not try to cut a whole sheet of these at a time. I typically wouldn't use all of these on one project while sitting. I would normally just fussy cut with my scissors because I might want two or three images out of this at a time. But if you want a full sheet and you're willing to do this work to make it happen, you can do it. Another thing I want to tell you is this. Sometimes when you scan, or especially in my scan and cut, I've noticed that this area here does not scan as well as this area here. So if you have images that are lighter in this area and darker down here, you might wanna flip them around so that your scan and cut can see them better. I've just noticed that works in my machine. All right, let's cut. I 
cut and there were a few casualties and let me show you where. I missed this. It was right here where this lantern is very pale. I should have traced right there and I didn't. So that cut apart. But honestly, I think I could put it down and glue it together and you wouldn't notice it. And then there was a berry up here that got cut by itself. Um, and over here where it couldn't see, I wanted to show you this. It basically did not even, it didn't even cut this out. It cut out a little spot right there and I think a little spot over here, but not, it didn't even, tr it didn't even try on this one. So that's good. I really didn't lose that whole point, that whole poinsettia. And then down here, you'll see there is one spot where it cuts, but it goes perfectly straight and gets that little corner because it missed that. But other than that, I got a lot of good die cuts out of this. So I'm going to peel them off and let you see exactly what I did get. Okay, so it missed a few more than I realized. It missed that one altogether. It missed that one altogether. And like I said, it didn't do this one, but it's not wasted. It did cut out a little section here, but I totally can fix that with my scissors and still use that image. So not too bad. And that is what we ended up with right here. Look at all of these amazing images. It's, I mean, it's a little work. You have to do the tracing. You have to do the looking. You have to pay attention to your screen and make sure you've got all your lines where they need to go. But these are completely usable and I'm pretty excited. Now, I did not mention, but I definitely like to use a pencil to do this because now I can go back and erase any pencil lines that are that are kind of in my way. And honestly, the only ones I would really erase are going to be like these stars because I don't really care for that having that. But here, you really can't see the pencil lines I drew there, so I probably wouldn't even worry about them. All right, so this one is ready for a project. So if you want to use your scan and cut, can it be done? Yes. It's a lot though. You've got to do some tracing. You've got to do some looking. You might even want to cut the page apart into fourths and put it in the middle so you don't have this non-readable edge on the, on the sides. But there you go. That's my first try and I was glad you guys got to come along. Thanks so much guys. See you next time.